Hi guys, I'm Jada De Laurentiis and thank you for joining my class. Today we're going to make Jade's Kettle Corn and Jade's Kettle Corn is one of our favorite family treats. I think because it's the perfect combination of sweet popcorn and salty popcorn. So let's get started. The first thing I have here is one and a quarter teaspoons of salt and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, ground cinnamon, which gives it nice sweetness but warmth is really what I'm looking for. So we're going to set that aside for the minute. So over here I have um, a hot Dutch oven and I like making it in a Dutch oven because I like the way that the, um, the heat gets uh, gets distributed so it makes for an even pop on the popcorn. So what we want to do is add three tablespoons of coconut oil. You could add vegetable oil if you want to. The coconut oil just gives it more depth and it gives a tiny bit of a coconut flavor which Jade and I just love. So we're going to add three tablespoons of coconut oil. The pan is already hot. That's one of the tricks to making popcorn is that you have hot, a hot pan. And we're going to add a half a cup of corn and a quarter cup of sugar. It's plain old granulated sugar. I'm just going to mix this up real quick. And now we put the lid on and we let it cook until we hear pop, 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 pop. Then we'll, we'll take the lid off and see what's in there. That's the fun part of making popcorn and that's actually one of Jade's favorites. Besides eating it, she loves listening to the pop. It's a fun little family adventure that we go on to see how many of these pop and how many of them stay at the bottom. Hit pause and meet me back here when you start to hear the first kernels start to pop. <laughs> it's like a monster in there. The popping gets faster and faster and faster and faster and then you go. And then all of a sudden it just stops. I bet you most of it's done now. So we can always turn off the heat. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. There's still a couple scragglers in there. Now, you can do it in a deeper Dutch oven too, so there's more room. But I wanted you guys to be able to see it. And I like the surface area of this one. It pops faster. There we go. There she be. So what you can do is too, you can take the lid, you can take this, and you can shake it a little bit. There we go. Perfect. And then we're gonna pour it onto a baking sheet that I already lined with a little bit of parchment. Yeah, that's the sugar that makes it dark. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. We take the sheet pan over here and we sprinkle it while the popcorn is still hot. I like to sprinkle it with a little bit of the cinnamon salt because you want it to be sweet, but you also want it to be um, salty and you also want it to have some warmth. So you get the sweetness from the sugar and the saltiness from the, from the salt but then you get this warm kick when you eat it from the cinnamon. And I think that's the combination and plus the smell. Ah, oh, it smells like the holidays. That sweet cinnamon sugar, that warmth in the house. And I think that's probably why it's become a family favorite. So then what you want to do is let the popcorn cool before you go ahead and touch it. There we go. Remember, there's also sugar. So you want to be careful when touching it and make sure it's cool. But you can put it in little cellophane baggies and you can give it to your neighbors, you can bring it to parties, and you can give it as gifts. And I think it makes the perfect little movie night snack, afternoon snack, or the perfect little gift you can bring to a holiday party. I'm going to just taste a piece. Mm. Crunchy, sweet, and salty. In my book, one of my favorite all-time snacks that doesn't have chocolate. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Hope you'll enjoy this treat as much as my family does. <laughs>